Hey everybody, we are backstage here at Five Star Wrestling in Newcastle. I'm here with one of the stars of the show, the one and the only, Ray Mysterio. Ray, pleasure to see you again. Thank you very much. How's it going? Good, man, good. So you've done another one of these flights. Yes. Which, you know, you do every week now. Every, yeah, Every apparently. Thursday you come over here. Yeah. But I've got to ask you, now I want to take you back. Um, at the Royal Rumble, I'm mm -hmm. watching it with 10 of my friends. Right. And we're pretty drunk. And we've got like a tombola, <laughs> so we're all doing right. numbers. And I have number 27. Oh, so, shit. So like, there's money involved here, right? And out comes Rey Mysterio, like you'd shot out of 1997, yeah. Rey Mysterio. Yeah. How did it happen? When did you know? We want to know the details. Uh, well, since it's already been out, uh, you know, there's nothing I can hide. Uh, there was a, there was an interaction between WWE and myself uh, early this year, beginning of January. And, uh, you know, um, we wanted to come up with a surprise mm -hmm. for a special entrance at the Royal Rumble. And I, I took the opportunity to, to uh, come back and do one event at this time right now uh, mm -hmm. with WWE. And what better than the, than the Royal Rumble, man? I still hold the record for the longest time yep. being in that ring and, uh, and then winning it after all. So uh, I thought that, that being able to come back at an event, or a actually I should say the very first event that WWE has to give their fans uh, to kick off the year, the Royal Rumble, you know, it was going to bring back a lot of sweet memories. And Former it did, Royal man. Rumble it, it did, yes, and it did, man. I'll tell you, I had no idea what to expect. Um, you have that, that, um, that, uh, mystique or that, that feeling of, man, are the fans going to want me back? You know, is it going to be a good reaction? I know it was going to be a good reaction. I just didn't know if it was going to be a mixed reaction. And man, the fans blew me away. It was very emotional. It was very emotional. From backstage, uh, WWE staff, uh, old faces that I hadn't seen for a while, like Randy, like Miz, like Brock, like Paul Heyman, to uh, stepping out on that stage and, and just hearing the, the reaction of the fans, it was just breathtaking. Was, was, were people surprised to see you? Very, because, okay. very surprised. Who was the most surprised? Ah, man, it's hard to say. It's hard to say because this was a very well-kept surprise. I mean, they had me in a bus. Uh, they had myself and Hurricane inside a bus, you know. We didn't fly into the city. We didn't fly into Philly. We flew into another city, Newark. And then from Newark, we drove into Philly, you know, day of the show. So, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the wrestlers didn't know that we were going to be there. And I, I want to ask you, because the Royal Rumble is an interesting event for you. You won a Royal Rumble match back in 2006. Mm -hmm. You returned here. But in 2014, you were number 30. And Ooh, I, that, mean, I think that's why I left a bad taste in my mouth. How, how was, did it feel like a little bit like redemption for you to come back at a Royal Rumble? Because that reaction for you, it wasn't really at you. No, I it know. It was more, you know, that people wanted of, Daniel Bryan. Of course, of course. And, and you know, I go back and, and think about that day. It, you know, you don't, at the time of, of things happening, like that moment, you know, you don't think right off the top of your head, but I wish I would have thought what I thought after the event, after watching it over and after hearing the reaction of the fans, I would have literally came back after hearing the reaction of the fans, because uh, I know Daniel Bryan was, was backstage. I would have grabbed him and told him, come out, man. Take my number <laughs> and let him out there and I'll, I'll just be backstage. I'll walk back. I would have gave him my spot, you know. Uh, fortunately, it, it didn't happen, uh, you know. And you're right, the fans were, were pretty pissed because they wanted to see somebody else. You're right, the, the boos weren't directed at, at me. You know, they were directed at, you know, we want to see Danny Bryan. Well, now they want to see Rey Mysterio as by the Royal Rumble reception this year. So I want to ask you, you know, everybody's going to ask you, are you coming back? And it seems like the Royal Rumble maybe opened the door. But instead of asking you, are you going to come back? Who would you maybe, you know, you were at the Royal Rumble. Who would you maybe like to step in the ring with now in WWE if you were to come back? Well, man, there's, there's so many uh, strong names that have been around for quite some time. AJ Styles is one of them, you know, and I think uh, AJ and myself, would have a really good run together. Uh, Finn Balor, I think I would have a really good run with Finn. Um, you know, and there's, uh, there's been a lot of names thrown around there. Uh, you know, if Ray comes back, uh, would he would it be part of the 205? Would he be part of the Cruiserweight division? 
you know, uh, it's, it's just hard to say. Um, I think whatever the fans want to see, if I do come back, that's what we'll give them. And um, we recently, it was recently Raw's 25th anniversary. Uh -huh. What was your favorite Raw moment, or a couple of favorite Raw moments that you were a part of that you look back and, and remember? Because you won the WWE title. Right? Yes, yes I did. Uh, man, uh, it's hard to say. Uh, um, there was just so much, uh, so many good moments that were lived throughout my almost 14 years of WWE, you know, going back and forth from SmackDown to Raw. You know, um, it's just very, very hard to pick. I think the one thing that really stands out is just the moment that Ray was drafted to go to Raw. You know, I think that was a really special moment. It just brought me back to that old WCW feeling where you were able to perform live and you had no chance to make any mistakes. You know, you were right on the spot and you had to, you had to improvise sometimes. And I like that. I like wrestling under that pressure. And uh, we're here at Five Star Wrestling. You're here in the UK. You're here every single week. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that you could juggle with WWE, doing the both at the same time? Uh, uh, right now, you know, uh, the conversation is still uh, in the open with WWE. So I'm hoping that that uh, when the time is right and we sit down to to talk about uh, the future for Rey Mysterio and for WWE with Rey Mysterio, if there's any, you know, that uh, it's gonna be good for both both uh, parties, you know, as much as it'll be good for WWE as it'll be good for me. You know, I think it's in the best interest for both of us. So uh, putting that aside, you know, whatever happens there, um, you know, hopefully we can continue doing business with Five Star as well. You know, I don't see why not. And the last question I want to ask you, just a, a question that uh, loads of our, our, our followers want to know, pineapple on a pizza, yes or no? What do you, where do you stand? But of course. Really? Pineapple on pizza, yeah. Oh my God. Why we're, not? We're going to have to disagree on Why, this. Well, come on. Um, I, I, you you got to remember, I, I, uh, before I was a wrestler, I was making pizzas. And that was one of my, my specialties, man, uh, the Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian baby. pizza, baby. Yes. There you go. Well, you're not making pizzas anymore. <laughs> I am eating them, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, not many. Uh, this has been Ray Mysterio. We'll see you soon.